Again. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market-wise, let's take a look at it. Pretty amazing, folks. The Teflon market in an extraordinary way. Dow Industrials up five, NASDAQ down 20, S&P's flat. And just to give you an idea of where we were this morning, bottom line, you had the Dow hit a low out here today of 23,052. And guess what? It says, see ya, don't want to be ya. End up grabbing, uh, what, grabbing 150 points back, 23,062. NASDAQ Composite hit a low out here today, 65.58. That didn't want to stay there either. Ended up being down 19 bucks, but get, guess what? 66.05. The S&P, same type of setup. You had volatility, bottom line, shook it off. You had a low out here of 25.47. You end up closing out at 25.60, flat market. They brought it all the way back up. You can expect that we will have some uh, nice volatility in this market tomorrow, though. Um, and we'll go through, uh, because once you get volatility in the market, folks, which we did get it today, um, this thing is going to shake, shake, rattle, and roll a bit. And we'll see uh, if, in fact, these bulls can bring it back each and every time that this uh, starts going south. Uh, gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract not only caught a good bid, um, but what you have uh, coming into this the close out here, you got an additional buying inside that gold contract. Uh, gold is at 12 90 60 we did contract uh, volume of 340,000. That's a big number. Uh, coming into a Friday, your last swing point out here from uh, Monday is the 1308. I expect you're going to see that. Uh, larger picture, though, is 1362. That is the highs of September 8th. That baby, I expect we're going to be going after that baby. Notes, 10-year note. Let's go take a look at the 10-year note, 30-year bond. What we have with the 10-year note right now, that did one3 million contracts today. You got to a high of 125.16. We're at 125.06 right now. Uh, what you're doing there, you're pushing higher. Well, first off, yesterday we tested the high of the last low in the 10 and the 30 year. That was October 6th. We rejected it. We dramatically lied to volume. We did 1 million contracts versus 1.8. Today, what we did, we did 1.38 million contracts. That is basically saying that, hey, guess what? These things are going to go higher once again. And if we do take a look at the Fed fund future rate for December, uh, what you ha you're still at 80%, 80.2% that you will get a short-term rate hike at the, uh, at the December meeting. Uh, what's interesting out here is that, um, you know, every day that uh, Trump meets with uh, someone else for the Fed chair, bottom line, you always get rumors coming out. Uh, what was intriguing out here today is that he was meeting with Yellen, but then all of a sudden after meeting with Yellen, what the rumor is is that Jerome Powell, uh, Powell um, uh, is, bottom line, uh, now basically getting close to being on the top of the the Fed chairman, you know, so it's all talk. I suspect it's all, it's all talk. But bottom line, uh, that's what moves markets around each and every day. Silver contract. What do we have with silver? Silver also caught a bid out here, folks. Uh, silver had a good bid. We are up 1.6 percent, 28 cents in the silver market. Um, big number, 104,000 contracts. Silver looks like it's going to make the run for $18.29. NDX 100. Now, after the close out here, we're going to get some good NDX stocks. Uh, NDX, the Q's got to a low of 147. Right now, you're at 148. Let's see, uh, ISRG, because Intuitive Surgical, see if they come out yet. Intuitive Surgical, let's see, 357. 
And okay, so they come out. Let's see what they're trading. So it closed at 357. You're trading 370. Okay, and two of the surgicals at Animal, no doubt. So you're trading $13 higher. Uh, numbers go like this: is that their estimate was $1.99? Amazing. Uh, now this is the third quarter adjustment, but they made 277. Their revenue, the estimate was 753 million. They took in 806. Big numbers, man. Holy cow! That that's that is some big numbers, no doubt. PayPal, P Y P L. Let's see if PayPal come out yet. PayPal closed at uh, $67.25. Uh, PayPal also come out, so let's see what they're trading at right now. They're trading at $70. That's trading up about three and a half dollars. Number on PayPal go like this. The estimate was 44 cents. They made 46. Their year-end uh, revenue, they see, let's see, volume, their volume growth, this is, they're growing by leaps and bounds. Look at this. So the volume growth, the estimate was 24.5%. They're growing by 29%. Man, people are using PayPal, I guess, right? There you go. Um, yeah, bottom line is that uh, that baby also, I believe, was at highs anyway. Yeah, so now it's going to be an all-time high also. Excuse me, folks. Yep. Uh, ATHN, let's see, Athena Health, if they come out yet. Uh, Athena closed at 116. Uh, that's trading 112. That's another four bucks down. Uh, they're in, they're in trouble. This Athena is, uh, they missed, uh, by six, oh, they, they beat by six pen, uh, cents, but they missed on revenue. So this is always dangerous, folks. So the earnings per share, the estimate was 50 cents. They made 56 cents. The revenue, the estimate was 310 million. They made 304. The market never believes you when the revenue number goes down and the earnings number goes up. So right now, Athena Health was down $4.37 intraday, all day today. Uh, you had a swing low out here of $111.61. It looks like this is going to be uh, an ABC structure on the way down. Right now, you're trading at 112. So it's going to go after uh, that B point more than likely tomorrow. And this, by the way, is down from $158. Three months ago, it's uh, down from, I believe, uh, 200 Yeah, 200 and six dollars when you go back to 2014 so it's been cut in half in three years you stay right there folks we'll be coming right back uh dow finished up five nasdaq down 19 s p's up a half a point coming right back folks